The 6570mm format, quite possibly the greatest recording medium and presentation format in the history of cinema. With films such as Ben-Hur, Oklahoma, Lawrence of Arabia, 2001, Jacques Tati's Playtime, Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, and Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight, all being sourced on 65mm silver film negative, these motion pictures all benefit from unparalleled fidelity, luscious colors, and rich black and whites that belong only to the 65mm large format medium, which has a frame that is 3 inches wide. Deemed too expensive to shoot for most motion pictures, 65mm became a prestige format, only being used in special roadside films or large budget auteur productions. It must be noted, very few films have actually been shot in 70mm, which is only a presentation format. Instead, films are first sourced on 65mm negative and then transferred to 70mm release prints with the extra 5mm saved for a 6 channel motion picture soundtrack. To this day, 65-70mm is revered by audiences and filmmakers alike for the same definitive reasons in which it was invented over a hundred years ago. 65mm film was originally created in 1897 by William Charles Hughes for a projection system he called the Hughes Moto Photoscope. It was created in the very early days of Victorian cinema, almost a literal wild west of different film formats that included 38mm, 54mm, 60mm, 63mm, 65mm, 68mm, and 70mm unperforated. In 1928, Fox Film Corporation created their own wide film format named Grandeur using a 70mm format, but theaters resisted and the format was quickly scrapped in 1930. It was not until Mike Todd, one of the founders of Cinerama and the creator of the Todd AO system, did 65mm become a format that was actually usable. Less cumbersome than the 35mm 3-lens Cinerama camera, Todd AO used a monopack single-lens 65mm motion picture camera that allowed producers to cost-effectively take their sprawling epics and convert them to the Cinerama process, giving the films a spherically wide 2.2 to 1 aspect ratio without the unsightly seams created by the old Cinerama camera system. Over the years, there have been many flavors of 65mm film, including MGM Camera 65 and Ultra Panavision, which are both 5 perf vertical anamorphic formats. We also have Super Panavision 70mm, which is a 5 perf vertical spherical format, and IMAX, which is a 15 perf horizontal spherical format. And in 2015, Aerie announced the Aerie Alexa 65, which is a 65mm 5 perf digital cinema camera with a data rate of 1 gigabyte per second. The 65-70mm format is still in demand today, with auteurs such as Quentin Tarantino shooting on the widest aspect ratio available, 2.76 to 1 with the anamorphic 65mm Ultra Panavision format, to the Hollywood Theater, who recently put in a 70mm projection system for all the cinephiles in Portland, Oregon. As long as there are people who love film, the 65-70mm format will endure. Thank you very much. My name is Kyle Swartz. I'm an independent student filmmaker from Portland, Oregon, and please don't forget to keep supporting the Clinton Street Theater. Cheers.